much patience, Kemi, on your achievements and success. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is like a dream come true for me. Mm. And I hope you have the time. I would like to tell you the story behind this thing. Okay, you can go on. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> hope I'm not taking much of your time. No, not at all. <laughs> behind this unworthy woman sitting before you. Let's just say the world thought my dream was not on the path. Mm. Do you know how one thing fell in line? And it became true. I heard that line so much and I began to believe it. My two siblings were always the best in their classes. It was an entire different story in my case. My father and I were always a look at heads because of this. At the end of each term, I could receive the beating of my life. <laughs> but nothing changed. I was still as dull as a bottle knife. No promise of a future in sight. But there came a time when my poor result didn't just earn me vlogging with Scar. It earned me something a lot more serious. Mr. Simpson, I really appreciate your coming in here today. I really appreciate that. Um, considering everything that is going on. Yeah, so the thing is, the teachers have really been working really hard on your daughter, but the thing is, once a student feels three times, because she has been feeling, she has failed three times, which is why we decided to call this meeting. Is she repeating again? As school policy says it goes, once a student fails three times, you have to call for an alternative. What alternative? I'm afraid to say, Mr. Simpson. Withdrawal. <sighs> I know. The thing is, your daughter can't even read properly. She can't even write a correct sentence. She can't spell. Like, it's. it's we try so hard. So, what's the point of having you in school? And from my own speculation and from my feedback from teachers. She can't even learn a trade. My apologies. I, I, I need your honest opinion. What do I do with her? Just look at her. What do I do with her? Since we have been honest, Mr. Simpson. Take your daughter home. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I wish you the best. The verdict had been reached. I was an empty bringless shield. <laughs> Who couldn't amount to nothing in life? My parents were tired. My schools were tired. I was tired. Then one day after that everyone has gone to school and work, it left me home to rot. I discovered after watching Genevieve Nadi that I wanted to do movies. It took me weeks of convincing my parents to allow me to join the production house. They was afraid of being embarrassed of this dollar daughter. <laughs> but at last they agreed and I joined the production house. I became a production assistant. I was just 15. Wow. 
and it has been 15 years since that episode. <laughs> I have done things. I have made something out of my life. I have even made my parents proud. And I make my life to be a useful one today. I did everything that Nisayo said I couldn't do. And now here I am. <laughs> so in case if any came in out there that is watching me, that your parents, your school, everyone had gave up on you, <laughs> just know that impossible is just an option. If I came in pop brain, dollar brain, can be a great filmmaker today, <laughs> you can do the same thing. So I just want you to leave with this advice that impossible is just an option. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.